saw in the video how we land the rover underneath the, what we call a descent stage, the propulsion system. The whole system is called sky crane. So up on top of the rover, on the, on the top of the sky crane, we put uh, some cameras and, and we were able to actually get the moment of touchdown. You can see the sand being blasted from the engines. Uh, you can see the rover down at the end of the tether. Uh, you see the wheels deployed, just ready to, to touch down on the surface. You know, launch was interesting, I'll say that. I mean, uh, we were down at Kennedy Space Center in, um, in the spring of 2020, getting doing our final assembly and testing on the vehicle. And March of 2020, right, our world changed, all of our worlds changed. You know, we had this very short launch window, and if we missed it, it was going to be hundreds of millions of dollars and two-year slip, and, and, but we got it done. We got it ready. We we're on the launch vehicle. What else could go wrong? 20 minutes before launch, earthquake in California. <laughs> <laughs> so the way it works when you, when you launch is you're on top of a launch vehicle, and the, it's the job of the launch vehicle to get, get you off the Earth and on a trajectory to Mars. And we were on an Atlas V, and, and the launch vehicle just performed flawlessly. It just hit its targets. Uh, the vehicle released, the spacecraft released, everything looked perfect. The, but the first thing that happens for the spacecraft team is we have to initiate radio contact with, with the vehicle to know that it, it made it through this very dynamic and violent launch environment. We call that initial acquisition project. Uh, we have chemists, we have biologists, you know, we have astrobiologists, we have geochemists, um, we have physicists uh, that do part of our work. Um, we've got people that do, that are really mathematicians that do a lot of our navigation work to get us to the, to, uh, to the, get us to the planet. We've got people that do, um, you know, autonomous systems. You know, really this, this vehicle is really the first, is, it's really a self-driving car in the true sense of the word. There's a lot of AI embedded in the autonomy of the system. Um, you know, any technical area domain, you know, there's an, there's an opportunity to work in, in, uh, on these missions. I could have a propulsion, I'm an electrical engineer, I could have a propulsion engineer come to me with a problem. But I've got a good, solid basis in tech, you know, technical, you know, understanding of, of most engineering systems, and I really encourage people, uh, you know, to um, that that want to be in this business, to to not try to jump too fast to things like management roles or systems engineering roles and things like that. To really embed yourself in technical things, build the robots like what you're doing, right? That's uh, that hands-on experience is invaluable, and honestly, that's that's the part I probably still enjoy the most. Not budgets, not schedules, you know. I and I love coming and talking about the mission. I really do. It's, it's a, you can probably tell, right? <laughs> any students? I'm going to ask any any students. So.